Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Sorry Girls. And today we're going to do a thrift store challenge where we're going to challenge ourselves to see who can make a better prom dress out of thrift store dresses. Oh, I forgot. This is a challenge. <laughs> you guys have been asking us to do prom dresses from the thrift store for so long and thought, today is the day, this year is the year, we're going to attempt it. I've always been too nervous because dresses are like, they're expensive because they're hard work. So I don't know how to take one apart or do anything to it. So we're gonna head to the thrift store and find some prom dresses that we can upcycle. All right. We are here in the thrift store, and I guess I don't have to think about what aisle to go to this time. We gotta go straight to dress. We don't have to hunt. We just have to hunt like one rack. This looks like my color for sure. <laughs> This one here is so out of the 80s with these giant bows. So this one is absolutely amazing. <laughs> it actually fits me so well. Okay. Cute. So that is a couple 20 sizes too big. All right, we're back. And we have a little haul. It was hard finding a dress that was actually not too nice because there were some that I wouldn't change a thing about them, but that's not the point of this challenge. I found this like ridiculously over the top 80s dress that has these giant bows on the shoulder. It's like polka dotted pattern, I don't know. But the actual body of it fits really well, so I think that's something I can work with. I found a dress that fit me okay. That was the problem. There was a lot of dresses that I had such a vision for, but they were just like huge. And basically I'd just be buying them for the fabric, which I didn't really think the point of this challenge was. So I found this dress that, like I wouldn't wear this to prom as it is. <laughs> so there's a lot to do with it. I don't know why they decided to use these like shoulder pads as like booby pads. Maybe they're booby pads, but I don't know why. They're like sewn in here. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot I can do with this. My dress was $15, mm -hmm, which is not too bad. I think mine was 12, the tag has wandered off, but still for a, a prom dress, like come on. Uh, who wants to start? I can start. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I think the first part of this dress is taking off everything that I know I don't want to keep and then maybe later I can add stuff back on if I need to. So definitely the most obvious thing are these giant bow shoulders and I think the whole sleeve in general, it's not that trendy and I don't love the polka dots. So I'm gonna take off both sleeves off the top of this dress using just a seam ripper and praying that it goes really well. The whole doesn't fall apart, wish me luck. Ugh, man. You can tell this is like a nice expensive dress, so. I'm sure it's sewn together really well. Okay, so the gigantic bow sleeves are off and already this is looking like years better and I haven't even done much to it. I'm imagining because it's a DV that you can almost do like an off the shoulder thing with it, which could be even prettier. But next step is to take this raw edge that I created and just kind of sew it up. I'll use some black thread and hopefully you won't see it. Okay, so the top is totally complete. Now just to finish the bottom. Uh, again, don't love the polka dots, so I'm gonna try and take this layer off and then see what we're working with underneath. More seam ripping, woohoo! So once I got the tool seam drift off the bottom, this dress is put together really, really, really well, so it made a lot more sense to just cut the top layer off instead of undoing absolutely everything. So I cut very close to the top of the dress and removed the polka dot layer. So the bottom layer is off and I'm actually loving this exposed tulle look. It's very in right now, like a la the giant tulle skirts that people wear with bodysuits. So this is where I'm gonna leave my dress. I think it's gonna be really, really, really cute on. Like I said, I can do an off the shoulder thing and it's much more simple now. Less 80s and more 2018. For my dress, first I'm going to shorten it so it's not this like awkward length. It would be perfect if I was shorter and it'd be good if I was taller, but since I'm not either of those, I'm gonna take off a couple inches so it doesn't hit like at an awkward length and it hits at a, I'm meant to be a short dress length. And I'm going to take in, take in, take up the slit a little bit because we can. So after hemming the bottom, I wanted to do a blind stitch to fold up the hem so you wouldn't see it. But unfortunately we don't have a blind stitch, blind, 
blind something foot for our sewing machine. So that proved a little bit difficult. So I ended up just using hem tape since this is like a fancy dress. You're not gonna be like throwing it in the wash. So hem tape will work just fine. I also seam ripped the slit a little bit higher and also hem taped that. So it's the right length. The slit's a little higher. Now I can move on to the top. Honestly, first thing is first. <laughs> Bye, stupid little booby pads. Seriously, it's so stupid. That's a little bit better. Let's take off this. I thought this was a brooch, but it's actually sewn on little deckle. Oh, just pulled the, the pearl off of it. Bye. Okay, so top is definitely, like it sits too high on me, so I think that I need to undo the straps either way so that I can make sure that it comes a little bit lower. And I'm gonna create a sweetheart a little bit more and a deeper sweetheart, I think. So I cut off all of the straps because I don't want it to cross. And then I just used the main part of the straps and added straps really close to the edges so it gives this very open chest look rather than this close off chest look that it had before. So with my straps on, it's all done. I didn't end up cutting the sweetheart any lower just because I'm afraid that it would pull apart because the dress is tight. Usually you need boning in there, which we don't have. So I actually like this. I think it's a little bit more classic versus the deep sweetheart is like a little bit dated in a way. It's nothing fancy, but it's way more my style. This is something I would definitely wear to prom or maybe even an event. Stay tuned to the Instagram. You guys can call me out when I wear this to an event one day. It's cute and I really like it. So those turned out pretty cute. I'm actually very impressed with this. Like considering going into this, I was like, how am I ever gonna do this? We don't sew, we aren't uh, with Wendy's, so <laughs> I'm pretty proud of us. And I'm stoked to have a new dress that I can wear to events. Yeah, I mean, mine's very fancy, so I don't know what event I'm going to, but if I have an event, I know I have a dress. If you guys are thinking about prom season, we already did a video where we tried mm -hmm. doing our own hair and makeup for prom. Maybe went well, maybe didn't. Yes. But you can check that out. You can check it out to see if you should pay to get your hair and makeup done for prom. If you like these thrift flip videos, we did do upcycling dresses a while ago too. I can link that below for you as well. Mm -hmm. As well as like many other flip fl thrift flips from forever. Can't even say our own show name. <laughs> oh my God, why are we so tongue tied? Because we've been in Tanzania. Have you guys seen the vlogs? Speaking of, go subscribe to the vlog channel if you haven't already. There's so much fun stuff happening there. And we're very, 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 very close to 100K. I feel like we keep saying that, but maybe if like, you know, five of you go subscribe, then we can stop saying that and just say, we got 100,000. Maybe we'll do something exciting when we hit it, but you won't know until we get there, so. Right? That's all I'm gonna say for now. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.